Just more than five years after Wisconsin women gained the right to vote, the state elected its first female legislators to the Wisconsin State Assembly. In 1925, Mildred Barber, Helen M. Brooks, and Helen F. Thompson took their seats in the assembly chamber. These three women came from various parts of the state but had three things in common. They were school teachers, unmarried, and each was part of the Republican Party. The decision for these women to run for state office was not an easy one. Many women during that time were reluctant to enter politics for fear they would be criticized for leaving their roles as mothers or homemakers. Others feared that they would have to compromise their beliefs and interests to be heard by their male counterparts. But the vigorous campaigns of these three women, aided by the support of new female voters throughout the state, gave them the ability to succeed and win their races. Mildred Barber was only 23 years old when she took office representing Marathon County. The daughter of a state senator, Barber became one of the first female legislators in the state as well as part of the first father-daughter legislative team in the nation. Helen M. Brooks was the oldest of the three women at age 62 and represented Green Lake and Washera counties. Some men serving in the legislature at the time resented Brooks for wearing a white ribbon which represented the Women's Christian Temperance Union. Helen F. Thompson, who represented Price County, was a hotel keeper in addition to being a teacher before taking office and was the only woman of the group to serve more than one term. Referred to as assembly men at the time, these women were not considered equals to the men serving in the legislature. At the time of their installation, there wasn't even a bathroom for them. In fact, it took 50 years for women to have their own restroom once Catherine Morrison, the first female senator, was elected in 1975. Still, regardless of the hardships, these women paved the way for the nearly 100 female representatives who have since served in the Wisconsin State Assembly.